Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm out again on the Aprilia, the new Aprilia, or my new Aprilia, uh, RSV4 Factory 1100. So, uh, a little bit grim today. Um, yeah, a few spots of rain, roads are a bit damp, but we're going to jump on nevertheless. Just take it a little bit easy and, uh, yeah, just go for a little ride and discuss my sort of initial thought, first thoughts on the bike. I'll spring her in a life fire up. <laughs> Bloody lovely. I had a little ride out yesterday and to be perfectly honest, I I had a new pair of boots, a new pair of City Vertigo boots, and I actually absolutely struggled uh, with the with the gear shifter. Uh, to a point of where I thought, actually thought that there was an issue with the, with the quick shifter and, uh, you know, uh, the transmission, if you like. But I've got my old sort of worn out ones on <laughs> at the moment. And, yeah, I'm having no problems at all now. So let's put that one to bed. I, I, I did get a bit worried. I thought, oh, no, you know, what's going on? But there is a, yeah, there is. I'm going to have to, I don't know, maybe wear them around the house or whatever and just soften them up a bit because so i had no feel at all on the on the uh, the gear shifter or the the rear brake pedal still running the bike in at the moment obviously you know, the, but my yeah anyway we're going to discuss my initial sort of first impressions of this machine <laughs> oh wow yeah well the performance let's just start there with the performance of this bike and i am absolutely amazed at the torque i think it's 125 newton meters of torque and uh and a whopping 217 bhp i believe for this machine it's absolutely amazing I'm not going to do a review on the bike. There is, I mean, this this model is it's been it's been out since 2021. A few spots of rain on the visor, oh, mud in the road. But yeah, they uh, they they did improve from the previous model. They've improved like there's lots of improvements. Obviously, a different TFT. Um, it's actually six times faster. Uh, they are the Aprilia. Or the APRC, which is like the <laughs> brain in. But that's like the brain of the bike, if you like. So you've got. Uh, there's one thing I, I, my, on my initial sort of, sort of first thought to the bike is the electronic suite is absolutely massive, and everything is customizable. So I'm trying to keep the revs below a certain amount here, but but yeah, you you know the rider modes on here. Let some air in. The rider modes you've got. It's very easy to switch between the rider modes with this button here, so you can go from uh, sport, street, and user. Now I have actually had a little play around with it, and I mean the map I'm on at the minute, as you can see on the display there. Let me just move it across. Uh, so yeah you've got traction control on five which is adjustable on that paddle down the bottom there and you've got wheelie control on two you've got three settings for the wheelie control i mean i like i like a little bit of liveliness from that uh, makes it more exciting but also on here which is really good is you can customize or customize you can customize a lot of this but as you can see on there you've got the Aprilia suspension control there. That's, you can change that on the fly as well. This has got the EC2 Olins. <laughs> suspension, so you can change change that. I haven't really messed with that at the moment. I'm just sort of getting used to the bike really, but you can soften it up. It's a little bit stiff at the moment. That's on the active suspension at the moment. So you've got three. Three settings on the active and three on the manual. 
the manual one obviously doesn't have that active suspension control if you like it's also on here on the sport mode only no, not the sport mode let me get it right on the user mode only you can you can change the the other settings so you can see the other settings on i think there's about nine altogether so you've got engine aprilia engine map which is on two on this one it's a little bit easy keep a shiny side up oh my god yeah won't be going through there not going to make it oh. one thing i have noticed on this bike is you are actually very very close you could actually squash your hands there close to the fairing the front fairing uh, yeah they, they, not very nice out here today and i also noticed as well i don't know whether it's just the position of this bike uh, the, uh, the clutch lever on this bike i'm using the clutch at lower speeds i don't generally use the quick shifter i don't think it does the gearbox any good let me know in the comments on your views on that but I always generally just use the clutch at low down speeds, but actually it's very close to this, pe there's like buttons here, plus or the minus. I'm sure that that's actually, I don't know, it looks very close to the minus button. You don't want that sort of accidentally knocking into there and, uh, you know, one of your safety features of the bike really. And you... uh, anyway, back to the setting. So you've got engine braking as well and on the sport setting that's set on to ABS on two and the launch control, the pulley launch control on two. What else have we got here? Yeah, traction control on five and wheelie control on two. Now if we just press this button here we can go into the user mode and yeah I've actually Lowered the wheelie control down there to level one. And so I quite like it being a bit, little bit lively there. You can actually turn it off. And that's one of the good things about this machine is the fact that you can separate, you, well, you can actually turn off wheelie control and leave, tra uh, leave traction control on. So it's got your back there. Click onto this one here. I've actually set the engine map to one. So that's the obviously most power. slick the, the, the quick shift from the blip is very seems very smooth like I said I did get a bit worried yesterday it's amazing really just just a case of you know, a stiff pair of boots would have that that much effect on, on the feel on the you know on the bike and that so I'm gonna have to I don't know soften them up a little bit but in the meantime, I'll just keep wearing these ones on here at the moment. Let's just pull in here. And I'll give you a walk around of the machine and just a few of my sort of thoughts. Oh, no. All right, let's turn that off. Neutral, very easy to find neutral there. First up, up in the neutral. Second, down in the neutral, no problems. <laughs> Side stand. Right, yeah, what a beauty. What an absolute beauty. So my first first you know one of the first things I've noticed on the bike uh, is some of the plastics you can see maybe here the finish is not yeah, it's okay, it's good, but it's not actually you know for you know, the cost of cost of this machine is I would say sort of you know up to that sort of standard really. Um, let's have a look at the lighting. Got the daytime running lights on there. But you can press this one here. Quite nice. I might leave them on actually. Very nice that. Indicators. Uh, they're not in the mirrors. On the, in here in the UK, I think in the States, the mirrors are in here, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But 
I'm pretty sure they're in, in the mirrors, but on here, we have them on here, on the machine. The thing I have noticed is there's no, uh, there's no hazard lights on here. You see the exhaust valve open there, actually, when I... Oh, I did, anyway. Um, right, another thing I will mention on here is this being a 217 or horsepower, whatever this bike is, uh, it's got cruise control. Which is quite unusual. Very easy to activate with this little lever here. And this lever is quite, again, with the, you know, with the bike, it's very customised where you can customise that lever to uh, adjust your, either your cruise control or your wheelie control, I think. But another thing what is quite annoying with this bike is it's got no fuel gauge. I mean, that is really, that, that's really annoying, that. Because, uh, you know, I, I get a bit anxious. I know you can set the, the display up there and, you know, see, see, you know, go by your mileage, but... At the end of the day, do we really want to be doing that? I don't really. I'd rather, you know, be able to look down at the, discreet, uh, the, the dash there and see what I've got in the tank. But, you know, overall first impressions of the machine is, yeah, an absolute, absolute animal of a bike. Um, very track fo focused. Maybe that's why it hasn't got a fuel gauge. I don't, I, I don't know, but why would you put cruise control on a machine? Mind you, you know, I'd probably be glad of it. Uh, probably be glad of it when I'm out on the, you know, on a run and that. confidence inspiring as well this machine I mean the, you know the electronics are, are there they've got you've got your back but you very rarely see that even on a day like today where the roads aren't brilliant not really seen that traction controller sort of warning like flicker but then I'm not really giving it oh, this is a very bumpy road <laughs> yeah, the tyres probably aren't going to retain much heat on a day like today. I don't know what the temperature is, probably about 7 or 8 degrees. So it's not, it's not absolutely freezing, but what else can I tell you about the machine? Oh, here comes the rain. I sort of hung off before I came out because the forecast it did uh, say it was going to be dry. But Obviously not. And uh, looks like we're now be a little bit careful along here. It's very bumpy. Very, very bumpy. This is probably what you could do with just flicking across to another suspension setting in the user mode where the bike is softened by the you know right right down. I mean, I come down this this route quite a lot, so I, I can't get know where the, there's some nasty, nasty bumps along here. And back down to the 30s. Oh, I'm going to get proper caught out in this rain. Well, anyway, just a short little video there on, I think it's my second or third ride out on this bike. And uh, sort of my initial thoughts so i'm still running the bike in but anyway yeah if you are new to the channel consider subscribing hit that subscribe button hit the on notification bell It'd be great to have you along lots more videos on the cards uh throughout the summer i mean that's the problem when i got this sitting in the garage here and you get a, a nice dry day this this is what i'm liking about at the moment about owning this bike is 
you open the garage, you want you want to uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to jump out, jump on it. So uh, yeah. Anyway, take care. See you soon.